Smudge. 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 What are you doing? Where are you going? Wait, come back. Where are you going? Yeah, that's a good girl, <laughs> sweetheart. So talkative. Where'd Pumpkin go? Pumpkin? No pumpkin? <sighs> Look at that mess. That's this right here. That's what I want to work on this week. Amongst other things. Pumpkin! I wanted to show her. She hasn't been in the videos for a while, but I don't know where she went. Hey, Tobes. How you doing, Toby? Also need to do something about this situation right here. The banana cannas. Love them. Fantastic. Gorgeous plants. This is too much though. That's the, what maybe like from this line and over, I gotta take those out. They're choking out the ginger. See, there's a ginger in there. And I'm sure there's some more down below that would like to get some light and come in, but that's not going to happen as long as these are blocking the window. I would very much prefer gingers in front of the window over cannas. You can see they go down fairly far. So pulling some out of the front, that shouldn't be a big deal. Turbo's outside because he makes Smudge uncomfortable. Smudge, not my cat. Cat sitting for my baby sister while she is away on a little trip in Europe. And uh, I'm also taking care of her plants. They told me I have free range whatever they want to their yard. Like that was a risky thing to do. So maybe next week can go over to her place and do some landscaping. No, pumpkin's not gonna be over here. Just remembering I need to close these blinds because algae get all over the glass. I really wanted to show Pumpkin. She's been with me all morning long and then to pull the camera out, well, you know how she does. Anyways, hey, what's up, garden friends? Jeff here, how's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm great. Doing, you know, just all the things. No huge plans this week other than want to do some major cleanup in an area that I have wanted to get cleaned up for a couple of years now. We'll go outside and we'll talk about that some more. Okay, literally, as soon as I turn the camera off, she came in here. Where'd you go? Pumpkin, where'd you go? There she is. Hey, Pumpkin. You gonna leave now? Well, it was nice seeing you. Could you at least hang out long enough for autofocus to pick you up, Pumpkin? Gotta do your rounds, check out the house, make sure nothing's changed. Thanks for being a good guard kitty, Pumpkin. I love you. Okay, there we go. It's some Pumpkin time. Good girl, Pumpkin. Now you're gonna stare at me and make me feel bad for going outside. I got work to... I've been trying to hang out with you, Pumpkin. Spent all morning together. She's gonna make me feel like a monster, like I don't love her. To what we're doing outdoors. Look at this. Look at this. Look at... You see that? That's a nice forecast. Slight chance of rain, not much. We're going to need a lot more than that to get by, but these temperatures, I do prefer it warmer outside. However, what I'm going to be doing out here is dirty stuff. And uh, this means that there's still like two weeks left of pretty tolerable temperatures for hard labor. I like that. It's necessary because what I got coming up that I need to do, it's pretty gross. Brief background. If you've been subscribed, for more than a few years, then you may remember last summer being a summer of cleanup. 2022, there was a lot of cleaning. Started from this area down here about where that Alexander Palm is and worked my way around to right here. And that's where I stopped. 2020 and 2021, things got pretty disastrous out here. Just unbelievably messy and disgusting. There was stuff going on, some health stuff during those years, and I just wasn't able to do much physical labor during that time. Don't really want to talk about it, but I kind of have to in order to bring on the point of the final area that I hadn't gotten to yet. I'm going to start tackling today in this video. I'm very excited. Look at, look at, isn't it disgusting? Just full disclosure, I piled some extra garbage over here just because people love the reveal. They like the cleaning and all the junk out and having a fresh area so i did i elaborated i embellished a little bit that's okay it's been kind of fun having a spot the last week where i've just been tossing stuff the reason i stopped right here last year was partially budget things and i need to do some planning this area right here right now it's hard to tell hopefully by the end of the video it's going to be much more obvious but there's a beautiful little wall that's built right here it goes from here and wraps around this hot tub. Yes, there's a hot tub over there. At one point, I had all these gorgeous blue balls, these great big blue balls over here that I used to put veggies and cut flowers in, and then the maple tree got big, and there wasn't enough sun to really do much of anything in this spot, so I stopped doing anything in this spot. And now, the hot tub has been turned. This is where it gets confusing and hard to explain. The hot tub, you, uh, you know, there's a control panel that you use to 
control the jets and the temperatures and the lights and all of those things. It's now on this side, up against this wall. It used to be over on the opposite side. That's because there are steps to get into the hot tub that made the most sense to have right here. So you can go up this wall, where there aren't lots of plants here, and walk down into the water. Problem with that is that the access panel that you need to get to whenever something goes wrong with the hot tub was also right there in that same spot. So anytime something went wrong with this thing, which is frequent hot tubs, they just <laughs> they're a lot of maintenance. So anytime something went wrong, this thing had to be drained and pulled out, which was not easy to do at all. It was very time consuming and labor intensive. So last fall, a company came out, they actually took the hot tub away to a warehouse, got it all fixed up, tuned up, and they rewired it so now the access panel is on the other side. But that means the whole the whole thing got turned around, so it just did boop, like this. So now there aren't any steps here, which I think is fine, because usually I just sit my butt down on the wall and scoop my way in. But now the access panel, or not the access panel, the control panel for everything is over here instead of over there. I know, this is probably seeming like it's not important and nobody cares, but here's why it's important. I had stopped with this area last year because I had planned on putting in a bamboo barrier in the ground here and planting bamboo along this wall, getting all this stuff out of here and doing that. That's a big project. Bamboo barrier is not that cheap for the really good stuff. So that's why I stopped right here and I was like, okay, that'll be a fun project for next year. Get this spot done. There's one other area over there I want to get done and then the yard's all caught up and fixed up. Well, that's all changed now. Can't do that because need to be able to get to the control panel to turn the thing on and off and whatnot. Cause sometimes you need to use those buttons and do things without actually getting into the hot tub. So I have a different plan for the area now. A still fun plan, I think, which the first step is of course going to be get all this out of here. No more pots. Gonna figure out something else to do with the majority of these blue balls that are over here. Eventually, most of what's over here is gonna be planted up there on that hill. That's probably not happening in this video, but may probably not, maybe. And I have some bricks, some pavers I'd like to lay down, build a little wall so that the tortoise has an area that he can roam around out here unsupervised. During the day when it's warm, not much going on this week. He's not gonna be out a ton this week, but I just let the tortoise have free range of the yard as long as I'm outside. He's a sulcata. He'll dig right underneath that fence if I'm not around to pay attention. This way, Colby the tortoise will have his little tortoise town over here. I think that that would be fun. It'll look nice and should be pretty easy to pull off, but the main thing that needs to be done, no matter what my plan is, obviously, is to just, I need to, this has all gotta go. That's gonna open up some space. It's going to give me some place to put what's left that has yet to be planted, which there isn't really much of at this point. And I think I'll probably move my mule palms over into this area for now. So I'm gonna be cleaning up and taking stuff out. That's, everybody's caught up. Sorry it took so long. Just felt like there was a lot of explaining to do there. Going to clear this out get it cleaned up for the most part. I'm gonna have to dig it out and re-level it and new gravel. Don't know if I'll be getting all that, but at least gonna get the gutting part of it done. Get those pots out of here and get things fixed up along this wall. So I'd like for this to look nice again. I've had it set up as a repotting area for the last three to five weeks, something like that. But the majority of the things that need to be repotted have been repotted at this point. Once I do that, I can, there's still plants in the garage. We've had nights in the 40s still. That's why I haven't brought everything out yet. Cause just a few days ago, it was like 46 degrees when I got up in the morning. What the, I don't, that's very weird. Not used to that in June. I'm not hating it though when there's work to be done. In the sky, look, there's clouds. Oh, it's so nice seeing clouds. One, they're beautiful and two, means the sun isn't gonna be scorching while I'm out here doing all of the things. Okay, so gonna do a before and after. Here's like a nice pan of things in this area before. And I'll replay this during a final reveal, but I think I'm going to keep things rolling while I do the stuff over there. Maybe, I don't know. My autofocus just is not doing what it's supposed to be doing. What is going on here? Okay, well now it's doing something. I don't know. It doesn't matter, it's irrelevant. There we go, got some good shots of the areas to reference back to. Didn't even check, microphone? Yeah, we're good. Okay, turbo, you know what's not gonna be helpful is you standing behind me when I'm walking backwards, don't do that. Oh, there's so much. Oh yeah, did I mention? Finally got some rain. Not a lot, but it was something. Oh no, the pots. I feel like I should hose these off for same to recycling. There's a place around here at one of the nurseries, at multiple nurseries where you can drop off your pottery, your plastic pots and the Missouri Botanical Gardens will take them. So I may just repile those because I already have a pile going that I need to take up there. 
everything over here smells so good and minty. I'm going to need a container to dump dirt in with some of these empties, or nearly empties, I should say. Ugh, this stuff. I cannot wait to get rid of all this garbage. Oh, corn, that's what that is. Been staring at that, trying to figure out what the heck that could be. Okay, now there's a blower going. I don't know how much you can even see what I was doing. So I'm just going to move y'all over here, get this hibiscus out of the way. I'll start pulling stuff up and speed it up. Got some pottery that I need to find some things to do with. I already know what I want to do with the balls. The others, not so sure. Look at over, I don't, it's, it's so nice. Five sentences started in my mouth at one time and just came out in a word salad. Clearly, still work to do, but huge improvement, right? There's a uh, yard waste and lots of stuff that needs to be picked up, but there's so much more room for activities. Like, look, there's a good amount of space in here. Like a really hefty, decent amount of space that wasn't being <laughs> utilized. I was going to keep going and totally finish this all off in like that one little montage. Overall, this part, clearing out that wall and all this stuff right here, that took like, I don't know, 25 minutes. That was not a big deal. Thing is, I need to get my potting bench and my annuals and things back over here. And I can't really put them over here. Because, like I said I, in the beginning of this, I gotta be able to get to that control panel thing on the inside of the hot tub from right there. I do think I'm going to put one of the mule palms right here and maybe another one right here. But do you see what the problem with there's, that's not gonna work. The reason the lighting is different is because I stopped what I was doing right here when I realized, well, I need to get all this stuff out of here. And to get all this stuff out of here, that means that I have to plant all of the things up here on the hill in the dump garden. Before I can get the apple trees and all these little things planted, I have to get these arbs planted, which are not looking very good. Talk about that later. So all that, we'll say 30 minutes total. No big deal. Up here, I've gotten two arbs planted and two holes dug. Five and a half hours. Five and a half hours. The ground up there, it's like hard pan. It's just, it's like digging in cement. Very time consuming. I still have two arbs left to get planted. I need to get another hole dug for this other apple tree and then all the little stuff here, which that shouldn't really be all that big of a deal. I was going to have planting up this whole wall area as its own separate video, probably the vlog that would have come out next week after this one. But realistically, to actually get this space cleaned up and cleared out and do what I want to do, then I gotta, I just, I gotta get this stuff handled. Especially if I'm working from this direction and over, the next step is right here. Not right here, but in order to get the stuff off the pad, we're doing it all. And that's fine, it's Monday. I've got a week to work on this, and it's supposed to be a pretty pleasant week. Although I am in very much a get it done <laughs> state of mind right now. And I would have liked to have done all this in one day, but I don't think it's happening. I'm not done yet. I'm going to keep digging. 
I'm going to dig and dig and dig until, I don't know, I think I would be satisfied if I can at least get these other two arbs planted and then get the apples put up here on the hill. Then other than the blue jangle hydrangeas, which are going to be going over here, the rest of the holes will be very small. I'm just gonna be filling in the spaces underneath everything. So I just thought I should probably pick up the camera and talk about it since you know this is a gardening channel and I'm about to plant up a ton of stuff on this hill might be worth talking about. I will not be montaging the planting of everything up here on the hill because I don't have enough batteries to even do that or enough memory on my memory card. There's just no freaking way. Not with how long it takes to dig a hole. I love planting things. It brings me so much joy. Digging the holes and backfilling them, watering the plants in. That's like the cookie cutter dream of gardening, right? Where you just take the shovel, you stick it in the ground, you lift up beautiful lofty soil and you dump it and it's just perfect. That's not what's going on up here. This sucks and I'm over it. I'm gonna be so glad when it's done. It's satisfying, a good workout, and I'm happy that I'm able to even do this sort of activity. So that's, there's the update. That's what's going on. Have moved on from this to move these things so that it can continue cleaning out this space right here to get the rest of the stuff up the bit. You can see the mule palms, like look at that. They, they need to get moved. This will be a better spot for them. Oh, the queen palm fell over again. Need to do something about that. I think we have to buy a new pot for that. We're not looking forward to that. Anyways, I'm gonna keep working on this. I don't know if there'll be any updates tonight. Could be, I doubt it, but pick back up in the morning if not. I don't need to announce it. Y'all know, it's, it'll be happening in the video. God, fucking hose. Okay, here's where I am. Where we are with this part. Arbs are planted. No, not looking great. Just gonna have to keep them heavily watered. This is their arbs. It went from 45 degrees to 94 degrees. That's what they do. It's what they do until they're established. If they die, at least the holes are dug. It'll be easy to replant them. them heavily watered, probably give them a shear to encourage some new growth to come out. I planted them with a lot of cotton burr compost. Well, an appropriate amount, not a lot, but an appropriate amount. Help break up the clay, acidify the soil some, not a lot, more neutralize it, and uh, enrich it you know, compost. Blue Jangles Hydrangea right here. Blue Jangles Hydrangea to the other side of the Gala Apple Espalier. The next Espalier, no, 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 no. Honeycrisp. Ball was down here. I wanted it to be a little bit closer over, but there's a French drain in the ground. Well, there was. I have to replace a chunk of French drain now. The problem with that being right there is I still have three more arbs, really four more to plant up against this fence panel right here. And, uh, well, now there's an apple tree in the way, but it's okay, they're smaller. I should have done the arbs first, but really, I'm just, I'm at a dig. <laughs> I don't have any digging left in me for today, and I needed to get those apple trees out from this area in here. I need to get that opened up. Then I was gonna call it quits for the night, but I figured all that's left are the fun little things. It makes sense to go ahead and bring you along for that. Sorry if I sound tired, it's just cause I am. But I'm going to sleep great tonight, and tomorrow's gonna be so much more satisfying waking up knowing everything I've gotten done. These are Ming Iris right here. They get very large. They need to go towards the back. I think I'm gonna put one of those. Is this bothered the way I'm handling this? Is that bothering anybody? There. One of those is gonna go over there. I don't know if the camera caught that, but it was a really good throw. Like, I guess that doesn't sound ideal. It landed straight up. Uh, this one, I was gonna put back here in between these right here, but I don't know, I'm having second thoughts about that. More arid, oh, wrong direction. More arid loving plants need to go towards the front. There's a wall right here. Things got messy, you know, lots of digging. And the more moisture loving plants towards the back. There's a lot of gravel in the ground right here. So anything that likes really good drainage and the drought tolerant, this is a place for those plants. I have these penstemons here and I was thinking maybe a ring of them right here in front of the apple. There was also a Manfreda in the ground right here and I stepped on it many, many, many times. That's not there anymore. There's also a lot of Nepeta over here too. Same problem. It got stepped on a bunch and now it's gone. So I want to make sure I remember where those Manfredas are. One right here, one right there. Okay, not digging in those spots. Good to know, glad I checked. I will plant right behind them, which would be more appropriate anyways. I love augers. They make things so much easier. This red riding hood penstemon, this is, it's supposed to keep blooming, right? I didn't cut it back. Should I, I probably should have cut it back. This is long lasting color for perennial borders. 
Huh. I'm gonna do some reading on this one. If it turns out it's not going to give me more blooms, it may end up coming out and something else may end up going in its place. Because the whole point of the dump garden is, well, partially just so I can put things in the ground that, you know, things that wouldn't work in other areas that they're trying to figure out where the camera should be aimed here. Part of the informality, it's just been a long day. But I also want a lot of color over here for all of the pollinators, right? For color, the more the pollinators will hang around, but I would like to have things that will bloom in succession. But there's it's going to be different times of year with things blooming, so that'll be good. But the other reasons I decided to pick up the camera and talk about what I'm doing is because I want to be able to remember what's going where. I'm gonna hold on to the tags, but you know how that goes. Doesn't mean I won't misplace something or forget something. So that was three. Was I even in frame with what I was just doing? Probably not. That was three of the Red Riding Hood penstemons around the base of the Honeycrisp apple. Now, over here, this is good. Okay, pay attention to the camera, attention what you're doing. Good soil right here for a lavender and it's a nice warm spot. So this is where this, this one right here, the Lediva Big Night Lavender. Oh, and if you were wondering, no, this is not what the soil was like back there. Back there, it's just clay. If the soil was like this, I would not have had any issues getting those plants in the ground. I would have had it done a pretty long time ago. <laughs> you can see where this was reaching for the sun. Oh, that smells fantastic. I love that lavender. Hummingbird plant right there in the front. I'm gonna have to get a good amount of mulch up here. All this soil that's been burned up here is just gonna come washing down. It's gonna flush across everything. Should also probably grab another one of these lavenders to put over. No, there's a Manfredda there. Can't do that. Never mind. Just kidding. Won't be doing that. I don't really know what I was gonna put in this hole because there's a Manfredda in the front there. Not be very happy with me doing that. A little piece of the blue jangles broke off, but it has some root on it. I'm sticking it back in right by the drip bed. Okay, so what's left? I have two of these perennial sunflowers, the sun catchers that go two to three feet tall. I'm going to need to go in the back more towards this end of things. More drought tolerant plants are gonna go down further. The euphorbia is gonna go, you better leave that iris alone, Turbo. That's not for you. It's not for you, better leave it alone. Better leave it alone, you good boy. And the euphorbia and the what? I'm gonna finish up and we'll talk about it in a minute. He's having a good time. Another beautiful morning. Not as many clouds, but still not hot out. It's, I, I don't even know where to start. Yesterday was just a hot ball of chaos. So I'm trying to get my brain back on course with what I left off with. I don't really remember what I left off with and I haven't edited yet. So here we, oh, the print. I got things planted. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In order to get all this stuff up from right here, I had to get the stuff planted up here. So there's nowhere else to put it. It needed to be done anyways. To do that meant the arbs need to be planted because once these espaliers were in place, can't really do much moving around behind them. So those are up there. Yes, I, it's arbs. They'll be fine if not i can pluck them out throw in new ones is what it is instruments around here i should let me grab my clippers i think it would be a good idea to give those a cut back i didn't even look at my screen who knows if y'all are looking at anything worthwhile right now my guess would be probably not i don't know if i want no i don't want these clippers at two different options here i figure i should probably grab the small snips for this get up here and give these a cut back don't know if i'm supposed to but it just seems like the right move since I don't know if it's one that's going to want to flower some more or not, right? May as well get those old flower heads off and just see what they do. Penstemon, that's not one that you cut all the way back, is it? I don't think it is. It's been a minute since I've grown many penstemons, like a pretty long time actually. I haven't had the sun for them. Been a few years since I've had the sun form out here. Regardless, you can see this one's really crispy. So I think a cut back to encourage a new flush is a good idea. Ming iris, one over here in front of this very dry arb. One thing I will say about the arbs, I'll get back to the irises in just a second, I promise. I got them in the ground yesterday and just absolutely drenched them and they have fluffed out, which is fairly encouraging. So I might be able to come in and shear them back and they may flush out with some new growth. I don't know. Ming iris right here, the Ming iris, they get 
pretty big. So there's one over here that's more in the shade, which is fine because it's an iris. It's not deep shade, just some shade. Those needed to be in the background. I'm standing here holding my camera with these pointed right at my eyes. I think that that's a bad idea. These will easily go three to five feet wide and high. They have flower stalks that come way up high. That's going to fill in that area very nicely. Ascot Rainbow Euphorbia. Perennial-ish in my zone. Generally in a warm spot, they will return. They've never come back for me, but I see plenty of them around the area that do. That's just kind of an experiment. The Euphorbia flowers, pollinators seem to be drawn to them. And I like the color on them as well. This right here is a primrose. It's a Siskiyou primrose. It has a very thin pink flower on it. And that will, over time, fill in the entire front of this bed here. It's these really big, beautiful, just wildflowers. One of my favorite wildflowers. And that one is a native, which is great. The white, you know, spirea back there, that's just there. It can stay. I don't care. The two suncatcher um, helianthus. Those are on each side of the apple tree. Down there, it's not much to them. I'm almost wondering if maybe those got hit with a growth inhibitor because they're, I've had them for what, a month? And they're still like, I don't know, just a couple inches tall. You can see one right there and one right there. Maybe getting them in the ground will get them up and going. And then of course, blue jangles, hydrangeas. Love them, they're so pretty. Obviously some are gonna get more sun than others, but it's still a fairly early in the day, so. They'll get light in the morning and then in the afternoon. I left the old hydrangeas, which I need to get in there. and need to cut the old wood out of that one. Because they have done a good amount of growing, so I figured I would give them a shot, see what they're going to do. I don't mind having them there. There's no reason to dig them up. I do have all of those cannas that I was talking about in the beginning of the video. I could pro maybe, I'm going to say probably, maybe plop some right there. And if that hydrangea wasn't there, I could put some right there as well. It's just there's not a ton of moisture back there. There will be this here. It's going to be watering like just insanity for these arbs. You really need to keep them nice and moist the first really few years, but especially the first year, and especially when they look like that. So that could be an option. Be a little bit difficult to get in there and plant them because I've got the espalier in the front, but I could worm my way through there and make that happen. It, that's really wasn't supposed to be the point of this video anyways. I'm planting up a whole new garden bed. I know it doesn't look that beautiful. I still need to mulch it. I have top dressed it with a decent layer of cotton burr compost. Help liven up the soil, help break down the clay. I still need to come in here and edge out all the soil that has moved over the front. I, there's a giant ball of dirt down. I don't, where, where did that come from? I have no idea where that came from. I'm gonna scoop that up, get it out of here, and then get back to clearing out this area, which is basically cleared out at this point. I still have all the pots from everything I planted yesterday. In total, I think I got 18 or 20 new plants in the ground, which is a big achievement when several of them are gigantic and were planted on top of clay and hard pan and gravel and very large tree roots. I need to change that sprinkler head too. It's coming out all wonky. I have a replacement head somewhere in the house. I should go find that. At some point, I should find that. The potting bench, I'm gonna get that moved back over there, which y'all didn't just see is me almost falling over all this pottery right here. That's gonna go back over there. It's gonna free up this space. Anything that's left to plant will go over there. It'll get some more shade because it's gonna be underneath the table. And then get this area cleared out and cleaned up and it'll, things will look good again, hopefully. That's the whole point of all this, right? On the balls, I need to do something with my balls. Got a blue ball issue going on here. Long time ago, I had a, should we talk about this now? I don't know if y'all can tell, I didn't plan out anything this morning. I was like, I'm just gonna pick up the camera and we're gonna go with whatever I feel like doing. Long time ago, I used to have one of those blue ball planters on each side of the dolphins at the base, which I know sounds like it would look weird, but it didn't. And I had a, an Alpinia Zarembit in each one on a drip because there's a lot of sun right there. They'd you know, crinkle up in the afternoon like an Alpinia does, but as soon as the sun got off them, they'd open back up and look great. It just looked really cool. I might do that again. I think that might look neat. I'll get to that when it's time to get to that first. I'd like to get all the junk off the patio.
Oh, there we go. Nice and fresh and clean. Oh, it looks so good. Better, I should say. I don't really have the plants arranged how they'll be staying. I was just more aligning them with where I have the most drip heads over here just to make it easier as far as watering is concerned. The deck planters that are up here, those will be staying. I'm not crazy about the spindle palm, just randomly sitting over there. Who are you growling at? What's that? Go check it out. I've actually even been thinking I may like to uh, not have anything in front of the hot tub this year, which is a different move compared to years in the past where it's just been a forest of stuff over here. But I just, oh, it's kind of nice having this space open. I think the steps look junky. I don't really see why I couldn't just take those and keep them around the corner and pull them out when people actually want to use the hot tub. This is loud. It's making noise. I don't, I don't know how to make it stop. I think this one, that one, no. Yes, there we go. Ran an update and the cooling fans were running at full blast. You can go say hi. If you're just gonna stare at me like a weirdo, go figure it out. It's okay, you can go see what they're up to. I'm not gonna protect you. You have to figure this out on your own. Don't be a weirdo, don't be anxious. Go on, go on, you're free, go see your friends. Nope, not interested. All right, Turbo, you can be a scaredy cat if you want to. Decisions still have to be made as far as design and layout of things goes, but I got things clean and that's what I wanted. It'll get dirty again. That's just the nature of things out here. I still have plenty of things to pot up. Like I dropped an oleander over here and it's not potted. You know, you saw in that little montage, with a lot of the plants, I just set them inside of the containers, like in their cash pots. And some of them, I would rather them have fresh soil, like hibiscus. I would like for them to have some fresh soil, not huge upgrades, but just slight improvements. Still have things to do from this spot and over get to that in another video. It's been a busy week. It's been multiple days of work going on out here. A lot of moving and cleaning. I like the gravel. It's not what I usually use, but it'll do. Not much left to plant over here. Really just a few petunias, some heliconias. I have just mostly extras over here and then the Musa Floridas, which I do need to get potted up. They're ready to move into bigger containers and then all the fun stuff over here. It's been a couple of days since that last clip ended where all the gravel and all that stuff went down, part of my microphone. You can see that the hydrangeas have adjusted and shockingly, there is some green pushing out on the bottom of this arb over here. I wasn't expecting that. It was like flat when I planted it and it's puffing back out. So I, I may give the trim it up and see what happens thing a try. May as well. Like I said, at least the holes are dug. So if I have to pull them and replace them, it'll be easy to do. And things are accessible over here again. The, okay, kind of accessible. I tossed a couple of yuccas in the way that I need to get cleaned up. I think these need a repot too, but they're in little containers. Very easy to just pick these up and scoot them out of the way. I just thought this would be a better spot for them because they're getting some shade from the Eureka Palm since they need the repots. Yuccas can take a good amount of sun, but they're really, really, really underpotted right now. Yeah, all caught up. I also just remembered that I forgot to pull the Creeping Jenny out of here. When I planted up these deck planters, I did a Sweet Potato Vine in this one and a Creeping Jenny in this one just to see which one I liked better. And I still need to swap that out. Do I have another Sweet Potato Vine? Okay, yes, I do. One more Sweet Potato Vine, that's good. I did start to get Pardon the shadows, it's just, it's that time of the sun. I can't do much about it. Only been like a week and a half, so hopefully this hasn't rooted in much. Is it gonna come out? Well, I can feel some tearing. It's a creeping Jenny, so I'm not really worried about that. I was more just hoping to have the hole opened up when I pull it out so I can pop the sweet potato vine in there more easily. Just gonna set that right there for now. It'll be okay. This setup is working well for the annuals. They're getting some shade from the windmill palm up here and I have a sprinkler head that just barely hits everything. So it's keeping them nice and moist. Let's see if I can't work this back into the same spot that Creepin' Jenny is or was. Yeah, that's almost a perfect fit. Don't think I need to backfill. I should be able to just scoot some soil aside these shadows. I'm so sorry, pardon the shadows. It wasn't, it wasn't meant to be a big deal anyways. It's just a sweet potato vine. It's not a big deal. It's fine. You can put the Creeping Jenny in here for right now. Just make that fit, there we go. That's good. Oh, and I did run some errands to go get the gravel and I filmed it, but you already saw me put down the gravel. Went to Home Depot and Lowe's. Go ahead and insert that here. It doesn't really make a lot of sense, but who cares? 
That was unexpected. I have never in my life seen a train go across those tracks. Warren, I've been able to hear them from my house, which is unlikely because I don't live that close. So it's probably just semi trucks or something I've been hearing, but never actually seen a train. That was weird. Where am I? Iowa? Is that? I don't know. Is that? That's where trains are, right? I found at Home Depot. Y'all should know that I probably filmed something saying what I'm doing at some point, right? I don't know. I don't know. It's been a chaotic morning. Now, yeah, I don't know why I'm bothering filming in here. It's always so loud that I can't use anything, but I just figured to get out of the backyard for a minute for everybody. Maybe have a look at some plants. Okay, music's loud enough that I have to keep my mouth right by the mic for things to be loud enough. So here we look at the kids. They're so stinking cute. The little tiny, I think they're rojos. Oh, I love them. It just says Musa Ecumenita Green. But then it said red banana on one of these. No? Okay, I thought maybe they were tiny rojos, but apparently they're just ecumenitas that have the green on them still because they're smaller. Oh, bricks. That's I've needed bricks for the longest time, for like three years, and every single time I come here, I forget. Or to Lowe's, I forget. Oh, there's color options? I wasn't prepared to have to make decisions about colors. It would make sense to get the gravel first because that's going to fill up the cart, but if I get the gravel, I'm, so, I'm going to forget. I know I'm going to forget to grab these. Okay, that should do it. I don't need that many. So I have that fountain in the backyard and I'd like to find a different way to support the main scent. We'll talk about it when it's time to, I see palm trees, see the, I see them. I, they're pretty little, like really little. I don't think anybody cares about palm trees that small. Are these golden creeping jennies? They look like it. I've kind of decided that I think, oh, they just say Les Machia. Maybe they're not. I mean, all creeping jennies will turn gold when you get them in the sun, but I prefer the ones that are nice and green, it doesn't say. I have no idea. They look like a regular creeping jenny, but I don't know. I have trust issues. Ooh, I see big palm trees too. Don't need them. I know, but it's just, it's fun to look at them. Queens, they look good, right? And these are just little Edinidias. They look nice, but not, not $80 nice. Yes, dang it, these are adorable. Black-eyed Susan vines. I feel dumb buying these. They're so easy to start from seed, but just look at, it's so perfect. <sighs> these are cool. I don't have good luck with them. The sun beckias. I've only tried growing them like twice, but they always rot away on me. Well, it turned out they don't have the gravel that I need, that I would like to use. I have all this extra space on the cart. It'd be wrong to not grab a few things while I'm here, right? Okay, I don't usually get down with these pre-done combo planters. I think it's more fun to do it yourself, but these, those look pretty good. You can't, you can't really see them, but they look good. I suppose I could try and get you a better shot. There's someone running up behind me with their cart. Why do people do that? If you're one of those people, stop it. It's, like, it's uncomfortable when you're shopping and you can feel someone speeding, racing up behind you. It's kind of aggressive. I know it's probably not the intention, but it is annoying. What's in the combo? <laughs> Back on topic, it says sun combo. It does, I, I don't know. Colocasias, some fescues of some type, I'm assuming, and dichondra and Persian shields. Those are really pretty. So are the urns up here with all the ipomias and coleus. The thing is, you know that this is at some point gonna just choke out everything else that's on the inside, but right now it looks pretty cool. Well, I don't know, that's the trailing coleus, isn't it? These are the proven winners that might actually say what's in them. Yeah, chocolate drop, plectanthrus. That, that might hold up well. If they were $20 cheaper, maybe I'd grab a few and figure that out, but they're not. That's a good price. I should probably grab some more while I'm here. Okay, I'm gonna go to Lowe's. Going to have to make this fast because now I have a car full of plants and it's not hot, but it is sunny. I cracked the windows that will be helpful, but probably not quite good enough. Pardon my rose. Minardas, I love them love them. Now for the fun part, the real challenge whenever I go to Lowe's is trying to find a flatbed. Do y'all have this problem when you go to Lowe's? Sometimes I'll walk around for like 15 minutes trying to find a f***ing cart. Yes, in the meantime, I can see if they have the gravel that I'd like to use. That's nice. Look at that black Caribbean beach pebble. Oh, that's beautiful. It's exp I'm not getting it. That's not necessary. The spot doesn't stick out that much. Also, I feel like it would get really warm. Drainage rock, drainage rock, marble rock, beach, gravel. Crap. This rainbow rock here, which is 
similar. The stuff I have is called Iowa Rainbow and Alabama Sunset. Uh, that has a lot of white colors in it. This rainbow rock, I know it needs to be rinsed. So it's hard to tell. I should have brought a water bottle with me or something so I could get a better look at the colors on this stuff. I don't know. I think that'll have to do. I need to find a cart and I have to pee so freaking bad, which isn't great because the bathrooms are so far away at these places. Found one, sort of. Had to go out to the parking lot and grab one out of a cart corral, but that's better than nothing. A little bit dinky. Not gonna be able to get everything I needed, but at least I'm able to get the gravel. You're so cute. Such a good boy. I'm not still in slow-mo, am I? That would suck if I go to edit this and there's like five hours of footage because I didn't realize I was filming in slow- Wait, what do you have, Turbo? <laughs> that's not- that's not for you. That's mine. That's my scoop. It's alright. It was lying on the ground. I don't blame you. You're a good boy. It's okay. You're a good boy. It's alright. Don't be ashamed. Everything's fine. Hold on. Smart person would check to make sure they're not filming in slow motion before talking anymore, right? Okay. All good. That worked out well. Yeah, Home Depot. What's with the gravel selection? All they have is pea gravel, base gravel, and lava rock, and then the really fancy, like, Mexican beach pebbles and those things are like, oh, fifteen dollars a bag. I didn't. I don't think that that would have been necessary for this project. But good plants, really good plants. I was thrilled that I was able to find a few more twelve packs of impatiens in the color that I need to plant all the way down. I'm not making you dizzy. I'm trying not to. I'm sorry. So I have to replant all the stuff in front of those laurels that got planted up last week, not tore up the impatience. So I have a new supply of impatience to do that with. I'll do that over the weekend. Pretty sure I already did that in a video. I'm not gonna bore y'all with doing it all over again. And then that gorgeous black eyed Susan already planted that up along the fence. I'll show it to you another time. There's people over there. I don't wanna go over there right now. I don't have my privacy. Everything over there is so exposed. Not much to see with it just yet anyways. And then I picked up some of the AHA Tough Stuff hydrangeas, which I have wanted for a long time. And I'm glad to have them. What's going on camera? What's going on? You don't see that there's things happening in front of you? Come on, but why aren't you doing your thing? This isn't good. Camera's been acting funny for like a week or two. Is that okay? All right, making me nervous. I could show you what I'm talking about. So we're gonna be talking about it. They don't look that great because, well, you know, Home Depot. Typically prefer to get my perennials from the local nurseries. It just makes the most sense. I like to support them and the plants always look so much better. But they had these, I was there, and price was pretty good. The Tough Stuff Hydrangeas, they are supposed to just be blooming powerhouses. They don't have the big mop heads on them, as you can see here. They're more of a star shape type, like you would have maybe on some of the oak leaf hydrangeas. This is the Tough Stuff Aha, uh -huh, so it's a blue or pink, depending on the acidity. I can add some aluminum sulfate or some sort of soil acidifier in there if I want to get them to blue up and the rest of their blooms. It's a five to nine, two to three feet tall and wide. They bloom early summer through fall. <laughs> I keep having to blow the freaking gnats out of my face. It's supposed to start blooming earlier in the season and just keep on going all the way until frost. I hopefully that'll be the case. I don't know. Need three. They had two. So here we are. Not a big deal. I need to hit up some local nurseries in a week or two anyway. So I want to find a couple more of the blue jangles to plant over there. I really liked how they look down there. So I want to, not over there, but up over there where all the people are right now. That was fun. Worked out fine. The gravel situation. I'm cool with it. Wasn't cool with how long it took to find a cart. Why does that always happen? Every time I go to Lowe's. There have actually been times where I've chosen to not go to Lowe's because I know how long it's going to take to just to try and find a flatbed. And I'll go to Home Depot instead. But Home Depot didn't have the right, yo, it, it filmed it. I don't need to reiterate, you know what happened. One last thing I want to do. It's getting later, sun's starting to set, it's a little bit cooler, it did, it warmed up. Got into the 90s today, starting to actually feel like summer. I need to plant up all my ball planters, or a couple. Let's do the ones down there by the dolphins.
What do we think? I think they're beautiful. I know it's not a super great close-up. They're still a little wilty, partially because of the time of day and because they were kind of thirsty when I planted them up. Not a great thing to do, right? I know the only thing we should do with dehydrated plants is rehydrate them, but I wanted to get it done. So this is the last big thing on my list that I wanted to get checked off <laughs> for this week for this video is to get those things planted up. I want to finish making a dent with all the annuals so that they could do their thing and get grown. And man, did I make a dent. I wish I had filmed more of the planting with the arbs and everything, but it like that actually took the entire day and it would have been pretty boring because there was six holes, four arbs and two apple trees and the rest I did film. I don't know if I need to recap the containers, Alpinians, Rumba, Variegata, Variegated Shell Genders in the middle of each one of those. The Petunia Persimmons in the front with the Bubblicious coming down each side of the container and a couple of electric orange sun impatience for an extra pop of color that will hang out on the inside of these planters. This regular potty mix, I added some, what was it, the compost, copper compost, osmocote, and some rose food too. I, it's so distracting. You're so cute. You're so cute, Turbo. Yes, you are. Such a good boy. Where's your toy? Where's your toy? You want to go get your shell? No, that's not your toy. That's a moth. There's the shell. Where's your shell? Get your shell. That's no, 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 don't. Don't. Good boy, Turbo. Good boy. Yeah, that's a friend. We don't need our friends. He's having a good time. It's very nice out there. And I ordered some solar lights that I can stick inside there, hopefully hide them down on the inside. and Maybe they'll still get enough light to work. I don't know. That'll light the dolphins up at night. That'll look cool. Okay, and there's one last thing that I want to do before it's time to go. I remembered I have these little sand castles to put in here. How freaking that's so stinking cute. Okay, and then one for this side as well. All right, maybe it's a bit much. I don't care. Having fun with it. Still haven't found another one of the tattoo orange vincas. Keeping my eyes peeled. That's something I will definitely have to look for at a local nursery. I never see those at big box stores. There's another reason that I need to head up some local nurseries. Hey, honeybee, look at you. Okay, all right, I got up in its face. I shouldn't have done that. Anyways, I'm happy with all the progress. Busy week, got a lot done. It feels good to have some of those things taken care of. Oh, I started on the wall. It just, I couldn't take it anymore. I needed to get to work on it. So there's that, you're not missing anything. I'm stacking bricks, nothing to it. Not mortaring them in, anything like that. Cause I need to be able to move them around for when I do things like Yelso in this video where I'm flushing stuff off the patio. There's a drainage ditch. It's about a foot wide right here that runs all the way down. Still done with gravel right now, but that still that facilitates the water to move through everywhere off the patio and down. Not even close to done. That's gotta go up a few rows higher. It's just like a, playpen it's not a permanent look we don't need to it's we're not talking about that right now i did notice that i have two more vista bubble gums over there and now that the hot tub space is all opened up i could put a vista on each side of these containers right here why not that kind of cool to have to walk through a wall of pink flowers when you're getting into the hot tub potted up a coconut really <laughs> really turbo <laughs> you're just stealing the spotlight huh oh golden hour Look at that sun, Turbo, you look so handsome in the sun. Okay. Coconut palm, ice bucket, sand, avinka, and uh, that, I think that looks nice. Very cute. I had a great week. Feels good when you get a lot done outside. Starting to get caught up with things, finally. Comment down below, say hi. I love talking to everybody. What's going on in your gardens? Maybe getting some rain in some of the places that are more dry, kind of like where I am, hopefully, maybe. I'm gonna wrap it up. Still got a lot to do. Lots of filming left to do for next week. I don't know if there's gonna be a baby deer in next week's video. Spoiler alert, cute little baby deer. It has nothing to do with anything that's going on next week, but there'll be a baby deer. All right, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.